Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Got another hot sauce review for you this morning. From Denzel's Hot Sauce in Enderby, British Columbia, Canada, we have Colonel Corn Roasted Corn Chipotle Hot Sauce. I'll show you the label there. It's pretty funny, pretty comical little label there. A cob of corn with a army hat, a colonel's hat, I guess if you will. Some some shades. So yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy to do another sauce from Denzel's. Uh, being a local company, uh, living in British Columbia myself, I will try to feature as many local products as I can. Maggie's at my feet here. Step over here. Make sure I don't step on her. So let's take a look at the ingredients here. Very simple list of ingredients on this one. Vinegar, corn, onions, chipotle, garlic, and salt. Now to be honest, I don't know if I've heard of corn in a hot sauce before. That was another one of the reasons that I picked this one. It's local and it's got something unique in it. And it's got a funny name, Colonel Corn, you know, the Colonel of the corn. So I decided to wear a kind of a corny shirt today. Wear my Weird Al shirt again for you all today. This was a, a gift from my cousin. Uh, so thank, thank you cousin for this shirt. I love this shirt. It's hilarious. It's one of my favorite non-metal shirts, absolutely. And I think it's even pretty metal. It's pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> um, what else do we have here? There's not too much of a write-up or anything on it here. Uh, it's got Denzel's Gourmet Foods, Enderby, BC, uh, www.denzelshotsauce.com. Made in Canada from domestic and imported ingredients. Refrigerate after opening. Shake well before use. On their heat scale, they give it a three out of... One, two, three, four, five. Three out of... 10, I guess. Uh, so I'm not expecting it to be very hot. Um, it looks like it's a fairly thick consistency. Um, a lot of chunks in it. There you go, you can kind of see it there. Medium thickness, sort of medium, medium thick. So. Um, I will, I would also like to mention I did get this from Fresh's Best Salsa Company in Kamloops. Um, my favorite hot sauce store by far. I mean, it's, I, I think it's the only specialty, you know, hot sauce store in Kamloops. There's other ones that, uh, that sell hot sauces, but they have the best selection by far. And their staff there is just great too. What's the matter, Maggie? She's whining. So. Give it a little shaky shake. That's for you, Silas. And uh, I thank you for giving me permission to use your term. I just, I really like that. I think it's awesome. It's fun. Okay. So it's got a nice uh, big lid on it. It's bigger than your average lid. It's got a, not a flow restrictor. It's got a flow increaser. Increase. I don't know. Oh. So have apples in it. So it's got vinegar, vinegar, corn, onions, chipotle, garlic, salt. Interesting. I guess yeah, that is. It smells kind of like a tortilla chip almost. That's that corn, that corn sm scent. And it's got a the vinegar. You can smell the vinegar. It's got that that. You know that bite of vinegar. I thought it was apple cider almost at first. Onions. Yeah, maybe picking up the onion a little bit. Not picking up the chipotle peppers at all. Maybe a hint of garlic. Get my Chase the Heat tasting spoon out. You can get this from johnnyscoville.com along with a lot of other great products. Uh, Pineango hot sauce. Shouldn't even be mentioning that in, in this hot sauce for you. Um, Mother of Pearl tasting spoon will not alter the flavor of your sauces or anything. So, let's give this a little pour. Oh, how 
poor Maggie. Nice and chunky. I like that. Almost like applesauce. It looks like applesauce. There we go. Oh yeah, you can see some nice flakes of things through there, hey? Some little particles, chunks, fibers, pulpy pieces. So from Denzel's Hot Sauce in Enderby, British Columbia, this is Colonel Corn. Keep my shorts. Oh wow. Now that is different. That is something very different. Immediate sweet. I need to, yeah, I need to try this again. Yeah, the vinegar, the onions, the garlic. Yeah, a little hint of corn, yeah, for sure. Almost like, almost like, <laughs> yeah, almost as if you put those ingredients on a tortilla chip, but without the crunch. Very interesting. This is a very unique hot sauce. I've never had a hot sauce anything like this before. Whoop. That was close. Wow. That is so unique. cleaning cloth in my Chase the Heat case now. Give it a whip, wipe down if I'm on the road doing reviews. So this one right here, Denzel's Kernel Corn. You get the you get the vinegar, you get the the onions and the garlic next. And the corn, yeah the corn really actually does come through. Um, this would be a good, I don't even know actually what to do this, with this one. This might sound weird, but the first thing that I thought of when I tasted this hot sauce was mushroom soup. And I don't know why. I have no idea why. But that was the very first thing that I thought of, was that this would go good in mushroom soup. Um, let's talk about the heat on this. It does move my needle. Um... It's not a 3 out of 10 for me. I would say it's a 1 out of 10 for me. If you're new to this though, this could be this could be a, a 3 out of 10. I could see that. It does have a little bit of sting on the tongue. Sting on the tongue. Yeah, I said that right. Um, I said that weird once. And I now I always second guess it. Um, and it was on camera, of course. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Uh, what was I going with? Would I buy this one again? Maybe. I might. I'm going to have to come back to that. I'm going to have to try this on some things and see what it goes well with because it's such a unique sauce. I wish that they, uh, I almost wish that they gave us some suggestions or a story behind it or, you know. Yeah, some pairing suggesting suggestions. Chili. This would be good in chili. Yeah, this would be good in chili for sure. It's got a great taste and I wish it had more heat. Um, I'm sure a lot of you will try this and say it's got the perfect amount of heat. But uh, I have been, uh, I've been pushing my tolerance quite a bit lately. And... Uh, you know, desiring spicier things, um, pushing my pushing my tolerance, uh, doing new challenges, um, accumulating points on the League of Fire. But 
anyways, this is about Denzel's hot sauce, not me. Um, I really like the other one that I did, <clears throat> the other one sauce that I reviewed from Denzel's. It was the uh, apple cinnamon. That is absolutely amazing. This one's good too. Um, this one's good. But honestly, I'm having trouble thinking of what else to pair this with. Um, this would be good on chicken, I'm sure. Yeah, this would be good on chicken. Chicken wings, chicken breast, rice. Yeah. Be beef and rice kind of a dish with some carrots in there and throw this in there for a little bit of heat and some of those spices and the corn and onions and garlic in there. But anyways, yeah. This one, I would maybe buy this one again, probably after I try it on different things and I'll find what it pairs with, and then I'll have a better idea. So I think that's about it for now. I'm going to cut this video off here. Um, a few things to get to today. We're going to head out for a little weenie roast, stand around a fire, and uh, cook some hot dogs and sip on some cocoa. So, uh, why don't you get Maggie to stand up? Hey, Maggie. Come say hello. Come here, girl. Yes. There we go. Sit. Yeah, you can kind of see her there. Cool girl, Maggie. Yeah, we're just up front in the craft room. This room's kind of a mess right now, but the mess is all back there, so it looks okay from here. This is just the wall. Closet doors, actually. But here's the Maggie, the real star of this channel. She's, uh, she's the reason we're all, we're all watching, I'm sure. She's such a good girl. She's such a good, good little buddy. She take, I take her everywhere that I go, pretty much, and... Unless she's out for a walk with mommy, or uh, we're out in the yard catching some rays. Actually, that's what she was doing right before I started this. She was outside, laying on the grass with her paws in the air, getting a tan. So anyways, Maggie says hello. She loves you all. I love you all. Hope you're having a great weekend. If you're not having a long weekend, I hope you're having a safe day back at work today. Whatever you're doing, I hope you have a great day and uh, a great evening. I love you all. Thank you for tuning in here. Um, don't forget to like the vid video. Leave a comment down below. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I am working through the comments. I'm slowly getting caught up. I think I'm only like two days behind on the comments now. So I'm going to spend some more time on that this evening after our weenie roast if I'm not too tired. And uh, hopefully get caught back up in the next few days. Um, keep putting some videos out for you, of course. So keep an eye out for those. Um, this has been another episode of Heat My Shorts. I love you all. Bye-bye.